Edo versus Master Mario happening uh, other on the other stream. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, there is another stream, so I get the multi Twitches out. That's right. Uh, I believe we have the partners with Oh, uh, the squad stream. The squad, yeah, the squad stream? stream? Yeah, I forgot you have to be a partner for that. But yeah, definitely, if you guys aren't already on there, check that out. Okay, so yes, Larry versus Spargo was to make it out. Yeah. So that does put them both in top 48, but just Spargo in the loser side. Yeah. Um, but for now, we have Pokemon Ditto's Puppe versus Pow. Yeah, I'm going to be running it on Pokemon Stadium 2. There is no other place to do so. <laughs> I love watching Squirtle Ditto's just because they're throwing hitboxes at each other. One of them will finally connect and take 40%. And then it just goes right back to neutral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they They're play the same game. Boom, another 40%. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, fair into the up air, forcing Pape on the switch. Couple of back airs into an oh up beat. God, that wow, almost that sent him. Squirtle so far. Squirtle is very light. Ivysaur is very strong. Okay, I smash at the ledge. Not going to catch him. We're going to see an up throw into Oops. up B. <laughs> they both switched! <laughs> oh my god, and the back air for Pape is going to win out. Okay, so I know we don't really see this move come out too often, Ooh. but I think this is going to be the match where we're going to see some Flare Blitz action. Right there, that should have been Flare Blitz. <laughs> I don't think it would have beat the fire. Doesn't it have armor, like, as it travels? He would have just, like, stalled out in the fire and eventually connected. Maybe. I don't know. I, you know what? I would like to see the interaction, at least. Yeah. I'm with you. More Flare Blitz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us a show, guys. <laughs> okay, a couple of down airs at the ledge, but they're not connecting for Pow. Puppy really running away with his stock, but a forward air connects. Come on. All right, down tilt. Down there. There's, a, There's uh, one. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> that was more like a recovery oh. flare blitz. <laughs> and a great down air into the up air connecting there for Pow. Okay, so it looks like. Looks like Puppe wants to keep the type advantage on uh, on Pow. Back here, back here. He switches early, tries to get a neutral air to cover the territory where the Vine Whip would go. Okay, directional air dodge used for Pow. It's going to allow him to just really escape the danger zone that Puppe's been putting out. Double up air doesn't going to work. But he's continuing the chase. Vine, Razor Leaf into the up air is going to connect with. Not going to kill it, forces Pow to switch onto the Charizard. And now Puppe Charizard the Ditto's Flare Blitz! <laughs> That's two for Puppe. A back air not going to do it on Charizard. Up smash? No. Okay, here comes back the back throw. throw. Puppe, what's the option going to be? Another Flare Blitz. Up throw is definitely not going to do it, but, you know, still putting the fear in him. Up throw on the platform? Maybe. Yeah. yeah with that platform assist, it was definitely enough to to uh, to just take the stock. But I think the first time he was more of a more of a DI mix up. I'm sure we were all expecting like the forward throw or a back throw. Maybe. All right, Razor Leaf into the up air once again, connecting for Pape. That time it's finally going to kill. All right, spacing out forward airs. And Pape able to land one and convert into an up air. Good use of withdrawal, just put some distance between uh, Puppe and Pow. Okay, landing a forward air of his own. A lot of razor action. <laughs> right, that's going to be an up B. Not going to connect the sweet spot, but it puts Pow onto Charizard. Once again, the up it, tilt. Okay, a back throw. Yeah, looking for the classic back throw back here, but it will not connect. Great photo right there, calls out the spot dodge. Hmm, up smash, but not enough to take Pal's stock. And an up smash out of shield. No! Yeah, great DI puppy. Looking for yeah. it, the forward air, gonna be enough. Yeah, ill-advised air, directional air dodge right there. A lot of lag on it. it very reactable by pu for puppy. But it's understandable. He did just yeah. get hit with up smash like yeah, almost definitely. twice in a row. Definitely, like y you gotta do something different. But Puppe had the read. Okay, no surprise there, Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> All right, 
game two, Pokemon Stadium two. Now, even though Pupe was able to like close out the game, I feel like Pal was doing a good job of keeping up with Pupe's damage. Here we see another down throw. Similar to, to game one, you know, we, we saw like Pal having the stronger start in the beginning, being a little bit more explosive. And then uh, Puppe was able to really just like dissect what Pau was doing and then slowly bring it back. Yeah, Pau's Squirtle has really just been on fire this set, but the issue is Puppe wasn't letting him stay on Squirtle at all aside from the very beginning. Right, right. I'm curious if we're gonna see more Squirtle here from Pau in this game number two. That's really the adjustment I would like to see. Okay, another forward air, just keeping Puppe off stage at even at 160%. Yeah, he wants to stay on the Squirtle. I respect it. But if he takes another up air like that, he's going to have to switch. Just going to go ahead and do it. Again, I'd like to see him try and switch in between stocks back to the Squirtle. But going to stick with the Ivysaur. I mean, one place you don't want to be is Squirtle versus Charizard. Yeah. Okay, another down throw into an up air. Going you know for what? the second up air, but it doesn't connect. I, I said I would like to see more Squirtle, but... Powell's Ivysaur is really popping off on this game two Ooh, as well. Ooh, a Flare Blitz! That's the first one to connect, and it is in favor of Pal. Bonus meter to him. <laughs> okay, so using a little bit of flamethrower action. Yep. Up smash, out of shield, and wow, taking two stocks in less than two minutes. It's very fast. Yeah, Pupe is looking, uh, sorry, Pal is looking incredible right now. Okay, but getting the roll read and that down smash is going to connect for Puppe. Back on Squirtle, Pow goes. Yeah, and with them both at zero, this is perfect time for Pow to get some momentum going with the Squirtle again. Okay, Nair out of shield. And I think, like, this is actually the moment where where Pow starts having trouble. It's, like, breaking through Puppe's Ivysaur with Squirtle. Puppe is starting to play a little bit more defensive. He's using his dash back a lot more. And it's kind of messing up uh, Pau's spacing. Yeah, Puppe is really starting to get some momentum going here against Pau, putting him back onto the Charizard against Ivysaur. This is dangerous. He's on the Squirtle, sticking to it. Oh, withdrawing yes. offside of the stage. Very smart. Pokemon Switch hanging at the ledge, taking his sweet time, making sure that flamethrower runs out before he gets back. You can see a down throw, up B. Oh, going for an up air instead. Yeah, and it almost killed. Great DI mix up right there. Oh, low profiling the up smash. Oh, that's going to be an up throw. Oh, great match. He escapes, but that forward, throw, forward air is going to be enough. Now Charizard, a huge target for Squirtle to deal with. All right, and Papa is going to stick with the Squirtle despite how light he is against Charizard. Yeah, I think he's trying to, like, Maybe abuse like the small size and just the size difference between these two characters. He got Pup power to 50, and that's essentially where he wants him to be. Yeah, and two <laughs> downers, that's 80% onto Pau. It's all of a sudden looking very scary for him. Like I said, you know, Pau is the player who starts off a lot more explosive. The back here hits! Pupe is the player who dissects his opponent, and that's what just happened. And not only that, but the back here sweet spot because Pau used his up tilt, raised his hitbox up, and put him in position.